The early 1970s brought a shift in Saturday morning TV watching. The long staples of cartoon favorites were joined by a number of live action adventures. Shows like the Shazam Isis Hour, Electra Woman and Dinah Girl, and Lidsville now shared the airwaves, and decades before Jurassic Park, there was Land of the Lost. When the Marshall family are trapped in an alternate universe inhabited by dinosaurs and some bad guys called the Sleestack, their adventure begins. Using early stop-motion animation and heavy blue screen effects, it captivated audiences around the world. Now, 50 years later, the stars of the show are treating fans at conventions around the world. It's incredible. You know, as Kathy will say, when, when people come to our table, they're in their 50s and 60s, 70s, they become like little kids. They yeah, just dissolve they into childhood. They into eight-year-old boys and girls. Yeah. So how does that make you feel? It's instant recognition is what takes place because we all came from the 70s where we ate the same things, listened to the same music, watched the same television shows. When we see each other, it's like, my friend! While arguably cheesy by today's standards, the special effects at the time were mesmerizing to children. State of the art at the time. In fact, it was a blue screen back then, not green screen. And it, it may look a little hokey now because it's not CGI, but at the the day it was state of the art, and in fact, the, the very first week we shot the blue screen stuff, they couldn't meld the videotape, which was us, and the, the dinosaurs, which was filmed together, and they called the Disney people, and they all had to work, and they worked a week, and they, they made history, TV history. While only 10 years old at the time for the actor who played Chaka, it was a magic moment in time, albeit under heavy makeup and prosthetics. Uh, it was uh, hot and sticky, yeah. uh, and it was fun though. I mean, you know, we got to work on a, a, an amazing set, and I got to work with these uh, two people here, and we had an amazing time. We had we're like a family. We're like a real family, yeah. even though we were playing a family. We were actually like a real family uh, off camera as well. The fan reaction today just as powerful as then. Howard White has been following the cast at shows for the last few years, serving as a prop master and set decorator. A self-admitted super fan, he gets emotional when talking about the impact the show has had. It's a passion for the show, so I grew up with the show, and this is part of the best part of my childhood that I will ever, ever experience. And then to be friends with these and be part of this, it's amazing. You, it's, it's priceless. It's something that you'll never get the rest of your life. All spend time today traveling the country at various conventions, spreading some joy and nostalgia along the way. To the land of the lost, to the land of the lost. And then Grumpy the dinosaur goes, Roar! The best of childhood, once thought lost, now found. I'm Kirk Montgomery for Newsnet.